uh, certainly uh, you know not much fun for us out there today. And uh, that's our team all the time. You know, we get what we deserve, and uh, that's what we got today. As did Central. They got what they deserve. They deserve the win. Uh, they played the full 60 and uh, made the plays you have to make to, to come out victorious. So you know, give them credit. We certainly give them credit. And uh, they played extremely hard. And uh, obviously at our side of the, the coin, we've got a lot of work to do right now, a lot of things to improve upon. And uh, we're going to do it fast because we have another game next week. Can you take us through that? go over uh, coach that last few plays? Yeah, it's, uh, it was a tough sequence, obviously. We couldn't keep him out of the end zone, uh, first of all. Uh, made the stop on the two-point play, and then the, uh, they, they did a good job on the onside kick. We did a poor job uh, on the flip side of it. And then, uh, you know, critical uh, series in there, we thought their guy was over, over the line on the one-pass play, and uh, they never reviewed it, and that was not true. So, uh, attack on a, a personal foul on top of that, and, you know, they gave them pretty good field position, at least good enough to for the guy to make a kick on um, the deal. So, you know, that's, uh, they got the job done there in that last minute of play uh, the way you have to, and we, we didn't. And uh, yeah, some of those things are just kind of reflective of the whole game, especially the, the penalty thing. Yeah, we did a terrible job on penalties today. And I think we had nine total. Seven of those were, you know, major penalties. So it's, it's going to be makes, makes it's tough to make that up. Specifically on the onside kick, what, if anything, did you say to your team prior to that play, and then what ultimately happens from your vantage point? You have, uh, you know, some guys are assigned to go block the guys that are uh, pursuing, and uh, other guys are assigned to catch, and we just we looked very confused out there, and that's that's not a good thing. Very indecisive. Coach, the personal foul issue. I saw the last personal foul penalty. It looked like a Central Michigan guy initiated it, but. You know, it's always the second guy that gets caught. It, it is, yeah. You know, it's kind of like that in any sport. And, uh, you know, the, at that point in the game or any point in the game, really, that's where you just have to keep your poise and let the referees officiate. And, uh, you know, I think any player has to realize if, if they get involved in a two-way, you know, they, they run the risk of being, being caught. Sometimes both guys get caught at one time. Uh, so other times it's just one. But, you know, in that, in that situation in particular, we just have to be a smarter, smarter team. Do you think game management was a problem today for the Hawks? At, at times it was, you know, at times it was. We had uh, uh, some communication issues, certainly, and uh, we ended up burning the timeout on the field goal. And, uh, you know, our original thoughts there were to use the 22 as our line of demarcation. And we just felt like, uh, you know, went down and asked Mike how he felt. And uh, he, he felt like he could do it. So you know, rather than have him rush, we uh, burnt the timeout to give him a good, good shot at it. Is there any specific thing that upsets you the most about this game? Uh, as far as like the series of things that unfolded? Well, yeah, I mean, the first thing I'd start with are penalties. You know, nine penalties, uh, seven being major penalties. You, you know, that's going to make it tough to overcome. First half, we, we turned the ball over on our end of the field and uh, gave them great field, field position. And then we also gave up a big play uncontested. And, you know, things like that are just, uh, I think, seven penalties in the first half. So you take the seven penalties, the turnover, and, uh, you know, give up a big play where we don't really challenge them at all. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's tough to overcome that. It's tough to be a winning football team doing that. So I'd start right there. And then in you know, the second half, we, we uh, did some things better, but uh, we didn't finish the game. How bittersweet is it to have this ending with the game that Mark had? Well, you know, it's how, how you look at it. Uh, you know, Mark had a good game, certainly. James threw for over 200. And those statistics don't uh, really don't matter, you know, because it still it wasn't good enough to get 34 points. And that's what it took for us today to win. So. Offensively, you can look at the numbers and say it was an okay day, but it really wasn't because we didn't, didn't score enough points to win. And uh, Obviously, defensively, it's the same way. You said before the UNI game that you guys had a great week of practice. Was practice, how did it go this yeah, just I said on the radio just a moment ago, uh, probably the biggest surprise for me today was that uh, you know, we had a good week in my mind. I think I went to bed last night feeling pretty good about the way we had prepared, the way we practiced, and uh, where the guys focused was. It seemed like everybody was on task and, and uh, you know, doing a good job. And typically, when that happens, the team goes out and it reflects in the play, but uh, it didn't hit them today. Maybe it was one of those things where that first touchdown came to uh, Yeah, sometimes you, you go through that, I guess, and uh, it was a beautiful first drive. That yeah, was a yeah. positive, certainly. Uh, you know, Mark's statistics were a positive. Keenan, for the second straight week, I think, uh, played better and come out there the same way. So there, there's some positives in there, but we're not playing well enough to win right now. Would you use the word undisciplined in describing this performance? Uh, you know, I think any team that has nine penalties, seven of them being majors, you know, that, that, that word would probably fit right in there. So uh, we, 
uh, would have to say so. Don't discipline sloppy, however you want to look at it. Any theories at all behind that? No, I, you know, I think it's uncharacteristic. Uh, I, I'm sure we've done it before. Uh, I just can't remember a game where we've had seven penalties that were you know, uh, major penalties. I, I'm sure it's happened before. I can't remember it. And, uh, you know, and, and again, if we'd had a really sloppy week of practice, I'd say, okay, I can, I can see that coming, but I don't see that. Were you surprised that you guys were confused on the uh, onside kick coverage when you kind of got a look at what they were doing with that delay of game? Yeah, we, we typically have. You know, we've been in that situation an awful lot, but we typically, it's, we've coached it and uh, usually executed fairly well. I don't know how many we've been involved in, but, uh, uh, so, but it just, we looked like we were, you know, frozen out there, and uh, you know, they got the ball.